Hey, James here. Today I'm going to have a quick look at how to set an ease on an object that you animate and I'm also going to look how to set it to multiple parameters. I'm doing this just because I saw a question on the forum and this is really the easiest way for me to answer it. So what I'm just going to do is grab a circle. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to extend the exposure to say frame 50 and then I'm going to animate it just moving across the screen. Nothing earth shattering here. So I'll go to our 50th frame and we'll just drag it across somewhere. So now you'll see all we have is a very simple move across the screen at a linear rate. Very boring, nothing that interesting. So what you can do is if you expand this out here you can see you've got all the different parameters. So you have two choices here. One you could just keep this all packed up neatly. Just hit a right click and then choose set ease for multiple parameters. And you can just set your ease here by dragging out this corner however you'd like. And of course here you can filter how you what you actually would like to like to change. So you might not want to do the rotation or you might not want to change the scale, just the motion of the object, which is a really common thing to do. You know, if you're scaling something and you want to accelerate it, just as movement-wise, you obviously wouldn't want to affect the scale. So I've just made a simple thing here. I'm just going to apply it. And now you'll see it starts off slow and just speeds up and off it goes. So I might just extend the exposure again and I'll just move it up here somewhere. So I've now go across here and I'm going to move up here. So I'm just going to now have a look at this middle one here. You'll now see that because I have a keyframe in between, I've now got you know two sides that I can draw out so I can so maybe I want to set this as a sort of a, you know, slowly ease in, get there sort of, and then speed back out. And so I've again set the parameter to multiple parameters. And I hit apply. And now if we play it, you can see that happening. So what I might do now is we'll hide this layer. We'll add another drawing layer. And this time I'm going to draw a pancake type of circle. And again, I'll then the exposure. And I'm going to animate this. So, what I want to do is here we go, set a keyframe, and we're going to go to our last frame. I'm just going to rotate this. Let's grab a point. So now we have a bit of a rotation. Now this is the pivot point is set in the center of the screen and that's why We've got this nice effect going. But anyway, so what I'd like to do here is I want to set the ease for multiple parameters. Now I want to keep that rotation at, a, at the same speed, but I don't but I want to change the motion. So now when I apply this, because I've deselected the rotation, you'll see that the rotation there stayed, you know, in the same but it starts it's you know starts off slowly and then speeds right up. And so that's the sort of thing that you can do by setting these multiple parameters. If you want to, you know, pick the parameters yourself, you can just do it by heading down here. So I'll go to the end and I might just sort of select this and so those three, right click, and then set these multiple parameters, and now it's automatically just picked up 
those three motion ones. So that's how you play around with the CDs of multiple parameters and hopefully you have some fun creating some great animations with it.